Uh, what's up y'all? I'm Alan Hain, the Lawn Care Nut. Thanks for coming back for yet another week. So today is what you might call maybe kind of a continuation of last week's video where we kind of did um, some really cool calculations on the cost per application of some of the most kind of popular products that we use here on the Lawn Care Nut and our lawns. And there's also a free guide that went out with that that kind of explained it in a little bit more detail. And uh, before we get going here, if you haven't gotten that guide, click the link in the description below, sign up for my newsletter, and we'll send you out that guide and all the other guides that we give out, tons of free ones. We'll get those out to you so that way you can kind of catch up, you'll understand. Also, I'll link the description below to last week's video that is a support for that and again it's all about cost per application now the way that that relates to today is because one of the products that we use is the 1801 green punch from Green County fertilizer link in the description below and kind of towards the end of the video I actually compared that product to Milorganite when it comes to cost but a few of you that are really smart and I alluded to it in the video too but a few of you that are really smart said Alan you're not being genuine there because the pounds on the ground are not the same and to be honest that's why I love doing work with you guys because you are really really smart and let me just stop here and say that if you don't know what we're talking about then the 1801 green punch is probably not for you i still want you to hang around i still want you to learn i still want you to watch the video and get the math because it is going to click for you but this 1801 green punch this is a more advanced or at least intermediate to almost advanced type of an application it's liquid fertilizer and you can do damage here if you do it wrong so when in doubt leave it out of your program. Now, if you are somebody that's ready for some green punch like me, then you're really gonna like what we're gonna do today because we're gonna do an experiment side by side. You remember my back lawn that I've been treating only with Next products this year? Let me give you a little quick update on that and then let's talk about how we're gonna use that as our test bed for the 1801 green punch. All right, so listen, this is what I've been doing with my back lawn this year, are only these and, and, and you know the other ones. I've got some dethatch back there, some 700 green effect, but these are from the BioStim pack and also the Soil Activator pack. These are the only products that have gone down in the back lawn this year. And when I say that, it's an important distinction because listen, these packages here, the Soil Activator Pack and the Biostimulant Pack, those are not meant to be replacements for macro fertilizers with NPK like Malorganite or Linger, Ringer Lawn Restore or this 1801 or any of your Scott's products or your starter fertilizer. These are not meant to be replacements for that. They're meant to be complementary. They are meant to enhance those. They are meant to optimize those things that you're inputting in. These make it better. And so I think I caused a lot of confusion when I said, hey, in the back lawn, I'm only using these products. A lot of you thought, well, yeah, he's gonna show us a full year program. And that is not the case. However, however, We've had a lot of rain this year and a ton of lightning storms, and they've been early morning lightning storms, so we're getting a lot of nitrogen from the air. And yes, if you're not aware, when lightning strikes, it releases nitrogen in the air naturally. Um, it's one of the only things that can split that atom in a certain way. I'm um, not a chemist or anything, but apparently to get nitrogen pulled out to where it's useful for plants, it, it takes some sort of a massive something that only certain bacteria can do and lightning. Anyway, I'll link in the description below to that video where I kind of explained what I was doing back there, but I did hose them down a lot. I put a lot of those down back there. And I, I mean, I think I got some pretty decent results. Let me show you. Oh, hold on, that right there. Before we do go back there, um, the other thing I'm gonna do is another soil test because I did an original soil test back there, which we'll review when I get this new one back, but I need to do a new one, so. Also, <laughs> look at this, doesn't this look like it's like I brought up like a Greek artifact. I don't know if you can tell. This thing is like giant. This is like a giant pot. Got it in the old gorilla cart there. I noticed that uh, my friend Colonel Corn, shout out bro, you have one of those and I think Connor Ward does too. So they're pretty popular on Amazon. Not a sponsor here or anything, but I mean, I really like that gorilla cart. If you guys are looking for something for your lawn and landscape that can, I mean, look at that big ass thing I got in there. I mean, you guys know about my kayak that I never use that I only have up there to make myself look like I'm some sort of cool fisherman guy to match my uh, Columbia gear and all that. But also over here, I always keep a few of these handy. You know, just in case. Now we do sell these in the store now. If you want, I'll link in the description below. You can pick one up. Same price you can get them on Amazon, so, but we sell them on our store too. really sure how this is coming through on the GoPro but I mean it looks good I can tell that it's lagging though um, I can especially tell when I mow it just doesn't feel as soft and pliable um, as it does out front I mean it looks good 
but I don't know. It's, I don't think it's gonna show up on the camera, but it just doesn't feel as vigorous to me, even though it looks decent. It definitely is lacking and lagging. It also did not grow as fast this year, which would make sense. All right, well, I'm not gonna record all this, but when I take the soil sample, I'm gonna do the exact same thing. I'm gonna take a spot a little bit from that corner, and I'm gonna take a little bit from up there and a little bit right from the middle. That's exactly what I did the last time. Um, because when the pool was built here, you can see, I don't know if you can tell, the grade's a little off right there. I think there's a lot of extra fill that they brought in that kind of leads out there for drainage, which is good. But that means that this soil composition up here, it's really a lot of the underlayment junk, whatever, you know, the crushed stone. That's really what a lot of this is up in here mixed with sand. Whereas that back there is more of the natural clay sand mix that we have. So I'm going to make sure that the, so the uh, samples stay consistent though. Okay, now the reason that the soil test is important is because this is going to just show us what the soil looks like when we only use the next products. Now we are going to full macro fert here with the 1801, but I'm only going to spray it on half of the back lawn. Uh, there's, this is my one from 218. I always keep the card because you can use the number again to look it up online if you happen to lose your copy or whatever. I got this uh, all sorted out here. So if this is the back lawn, so in my, in my note here, I have this pie shake section in the back. It's 2100, but what this doesn't show, this goes all the way back to the lake. What this doesn't show is there's a spot only inside the fence, and that's here, and it's only about 500 square feet. So I'm gonna divide it off, and the left-hand side is gonna be sprayed with 1801 at 16 ounces per thousand, which delivers one quarter pound in. We're gonna go through that in a minute. And this side over here on the right will be sprayed with nothing. So we are literally gonna see a side-by-side -side on an almost naked lawn that's in pretty good shape. But either way, that's what we're gonna do. So that's test number one that we're gonna do today. We're also gonna do another test on the side lawn here, section one, which is a 1,000 square foot area. So we're gonna go ahead and do a test over there as well with the 1801 on that. That has had Milo, oh it's been. So that section over there has not had any macro fert at all since, well, May 31st because that was the last time I could do for it. Now it did get 002 microgreen on July 1st, I think it is. Uh, let's check the lawn journal. Yeah, July 1st. See, okay, it got 002 microgreen. So the spot we're gonna look at here, the back lawn also did get 002 microgreen at the same time, but this spot here on the side that we're gonna look at today, it got six ounces per thousand of 002 microgreen on July 1st. So that's the last thing it's had. So let's go take a look at that lawn now as it stands before we spray it. This section here is a 1,000 square foot area. You've seen me spray this before with the 002 Micro actually in a video um, back on July 1st. Yeah, hey, I love when that comes together like So that's what was here last is 002 Micro. And again, it hasn't had any macro for it back here for, uh, wait a minute, let me just make sure you can see the whole thing. Let me, let me just pause right there just for one second. There we go, okay. So anyway, this is definitely right for some fur because it hasn't even had any macro fur since uh, May 31st or June 1st or whatever it was. So let's go ahead and throw it down here and then uh, we'll measure this going forward as well and look at the results. Today, I am the uncut man. Sometimes you're the windshield, sometimes you're the bug, sometimes you're the uncut man, sometimes you're not. There's some sort of pseudo wisdom there somewhere. Okay, so I showed you what we're gonna be spraying today. We're gonna to use a hose-end sprayer, by the way, and that's the other thing. You gotta use a hose-end sprayer. Wait, let me turn it right. Product placement is everything. You gotta use a hose-end sprayer to do this. Please don't do this in any other fashion. We need a lot of water here. This can burn, and actually, I'm spraying in July. It's like 95 today. Now, you know, warm season lawns, this is the one thing that my lawn can handle is being pushed when in the heat. It can't handle a lot of pesticides, but cool season lawns, you guys can handle a lot of pesticides, but you can't handle being pushed in the heat. So just be really careful with this. Tons and tons of water. And I'm gonna give you some more of those tips in a minute. But first, let's go ahead and just do the math real quick so you understand what you're putting down, how much you're getting down, pounds on the ground, all that kind of stuff. And so with this math, the first thing that we have to do to get pounds on the ground, because we have an 1801, but in order to understand pounds on the ground, pounds being the operative word, we have to convert volume, which the volume here is 2.5 gallons. We have to convert volume to weight and then do a little bit of math. Now I have a two and a half gallon jug here of the 1801. You can get it in five gallons, which would be two 2.5s 
or you can also order four gallon boxes, which would be four one gallons. So it's really up to you. With the rates that we're using today, which are the rates I recommend you use as well, and I'll tell you why in a minute, one gallon of this product, 1801, will cover 8,000 square feet. So if you have an 8,000 square foot lawn, you'd get one app out of each gallon. All right, so I have gone ahead and done just a little bit of math here for you. So 2.5 gallons is 26.25 pounds. How do I know that? Because it's on the label. Pretty much any liquid fertilizer that you're gonna use is gonna need to give you the weight of the volume. That's just pretty much industry standard. So look on the label and here you will see 2.5 gallons weighs 26.25 pounds. Now that's gonna be consistent. Doesn't matter if you have a 2.5 gallon or a one gallon. The, the weight of each ounce is gonna be consistent. So let's go ahead and convert down to weight per ounce now. So you can see here 2.5 gallons equals 320 ounces. I went ahead and gave you a one gallon calculation because that's 128 ounces. So these are just some general calculations that you need to know. Um, one ounce of product then weighs 0 0.08 pounds. How do I know that? Because 26.25 pounds divided by 320 ounces, which is how much I have in two and a half gallons here, 320 ounces. So 26.25 pounds divided by 320 ounces tells me that each ounce of this product weighs 0 0.08 pounds. So that's the first thing that you need to know. Next, we need to know then, to get pounds on the ground, how much are we putting down? Well, we're gonna put down 16 ounces per gallon. And you'll see here for warm season turf, that's recommended, apply at a rate of 16 ounces per 1,000. And remember, per gallon is per 1,000. So our application rate, and again, I said start small so you understand what you're doing, because you can really make some fast color pops with this stuff, so be careful. So I'm gonna do a 16 ounces per 1,000, or 16 ounces per gallon. One gallon covers 1,000 square feet. That's just our spray rate. So 16 ounces times 0.08, that's how much each ounce weighs, means that each 16 ounces weighs 1.28 pounds. So when I spray out 16 ounces of 1801, that's 1.28 literal pounds of product. So remember, 16 ounces goes for every one gallon of your mix, and every one gallon of your mix can cover 1,000 square feet. So then the next piece of the math I do, since remember, our analysis is 1801. That means that 18% of everything in here is nitrogen because N is the first macro, nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium. So that's nitrogen. So 18%, which is 0.18, times 1.28, that's how much 16 ounces weighs, gives us 0.23. Now we're just gonna make our math easy and we're gonna round that to one quarter. So that means then that 16 ounces per thousand here is gonna give you one quarter pound of nitrogen per thousand. And that's where our math can get a little bit confusing, or for those of you that are really smart, you pick this out. And again, go back and watch the video from last week, also get the guide. I did Milo, I compared the cost of this application here to a Milo app, and they were about the same, actually this was a little cheaper, but the Milo was delivering a half a pound of in, or even slightly over a half a pound of in. This is only delivering a quarter pound of in. So for the same cost, you're getting half the amount of nitrogen. What's going on here, Al? Well, I don't have time to kind of explore all that here. I'll link in the description below to John Perry's video where he talks about low nitrogen programs. Now, keep in mind, I'm not trying to go on some low nitrogen program here. I'm using this low nitrogen application as a way to boost in between Milo apps or other type of fertilizer apps. That's what I'm using it for. But you could do this as a complete program. You can kind of dial this up or down however you want, just like anything else. So just keep that in mind. The other thing is, this is a liquid program, and liquids are supposed to act a lot quicker. So I think that's really the advantage here is, it's less nitrogen, but it'll give you a lot quicker, more immediate impact, and probably longer lasting, because this is also juiced with the RGS stuff, the humic and the sea kelp, so that's gonna make everything extend a little bit longer. So there you go, there's the math, and again, feel free to review it, because eventually it's gonna click in your head, and you're just gonna be like, man, that's awesome, and then it's gonna really, really gonna mean something to you, but for now, the next thing I'm gonna do then is I'm gonna go give it a cut real quick and I'll show you St. Aug does not look good after it's cut, at least I don't think it does, but we'll get some befores there. We'll spray and throw her down, we'll spray and pray, and then we'll come back next week and we'll see what our results look like. Let's get out in the lawn.